was playing with him earlier, and he he does this thing where he will bite me, and then pull back and go, ah, ah, <laughs> and then immediately, and then immediately bite me again, and just keep <laughs> doing that. He's like, blah, blah, blah. I had, uh, I have not posted the video because. I don't know if it would upset people, but anyone who follows me on, on Twitter or TikTok might know that I've been trying to befriend a local feral, mm -hmm. uh, who we affectionately call Houdini because he has a reputation for escaping traps. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that by befriending him, I can get him to a vet and get him neutered and get him some shots. Last night, Houdini stops by like three times a night. Last night, I guess he decided the food I put out needed a little something. We have a little motion sensor camera, so I know when Houdini comes. He he was eating, and then all of a sudden he runs away. 60 seconds later, he comes back with a dead mouse in his mouth. Actually, it might not have been dead yet, because then he drops it in the bowl of dry food. <laughs> right in the bowl, right on top of the dry food, like he's breading it or something. <laughs> He ate that thing bones and all. I could hear the bones crunching on the camera and I'm just like. And then so, he just, he finished up, went and sat on my porch, watched the neighborhood for a bit. So I went out to talk to him because I'm trying to get him used to my presence. When I tell you this cat, he's mostly white, not a drop of blood on him, not a drop of blood on my porch. Like this is the John Wick of cats. <laughs> There was no evidence that this mouse had ever existed. He, he erased little bastard. So people keep asking me, they're like, oh, are you going to adopt him? And I'm like, no. One, because there's a difference between a feral cat and a stray cat. Stray cats used to be somebody's cats. He's a true feral. Like, he would not be happy as a house cat. Two, I think he would kick the ass of all my pampered little yeah. spoiled babies. Like... I just like that. That's a, that's a cat, man. You give them food. You give them food that cats generally like, and instead of that, they want murder. Murder oh, tastes better. Dry food too. He <laughs> still gobbled down all that dry food. But, uh, but you know, I, apparently, I'm just not going to have a mouse problem now. Choosy cats choose murder. Because <laughs> I got an assassin patrolling my porch. I just love that he took the time to carry it back and put it in the bowl. <laughs> I thought that was very civilized of him. Uh, all right. Well, ah, get out of the screen. Off the screen. Not you. Um, Simba would probably be the only one to handle him. Truth be told, Simba's a big coward. He is. He was terrified of the other cats at the shelter. He loves Peggy and Dottie because Peggy and Dottie don't know how to fight. They just tell him off and walk away. The feral cat, we I call him Houdini. Well, I got that name from other people in the neighborhood who have tried to trap him, and he has escaped. I'm, I'm going a different route. I'm trying to be his friend. All right. Well, it is time. We, we've got tonight. Something's been happening. And I guess it's just, you know, 2020. Um, the, 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 sometimes in the past, we've had the real news, like the real news, like the headline shit, blend over with what we do. Because normally our stuff is like off the, there, there's no reason to cover the kind of stuff we do. That's kind of why I started doing this because, you know, it was, you know, it was esoteric. Now we're kind of like a contemporary with like the shit, the fucking New York Times and shit. Which is weird and concerning. Yes. We've got some of that people, tonight. People are actually an informative out, outlet. Like people are very upset at us spreading disinformation about the large Hadron Collider. And I'm like, guys, we're not running a fucking science blog. <laughs> oh, no, if they you're did. getting your information about that shit from us, oh, no. you need to not. They, they didn't actually plunge into another dimension. That's not how that works. And I see, here's what it actually... And they're like, this is really harmful when you spread disinformation. And I'm like, I don't know if y'all know this, but we're not running the Discovery Channel. YouTube comments are worthless. That's why I don't pay attention to them. Anyway. So yeah, we we we've got some crossover tonight. Um Well, we'll just have to roll with it. Here we go. Let's get the intro going. Each week 
Catherine, Radio Dead Air Alliance, about on the worldwide interwebs. Find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring back here for a little segment we like to call. What the fuck is wrong with you? Um. This is, yeah, this is like primetime news. Everybody who had to deal with this. Like, this is one of the traffic stopping bullshit stories. Um. And I don't understand it. Like, at fucking all. Man charged after climbing New York Times building in Midtown Manhattan. Literally the New York Times. People do this every few years with that building. Really? Yeah, it's got like a texture on the outside. Like, it has like a permanent scaffold facade. And it's just crack for amateur Spider-Mans. Authorities have identified the man captured on video climbing up the side of the New York Times building in Midtown Manhattan. 36-year-old Wilmer Ferrara of Lawrence, Massachusetts, has been charged with two counts of reckless endangerment, obstructing governmental administration, and criminal trespass. Ferrara scaled six stories of the skyscraper. <laughs> At which point, he got tired and waited for officers to come get him. Didn't really think it through, did you? <laughs> Members of the NYPD's emergency services unit cut out part of a window, reached out, and pulled him inside. Why? Why? Do, why? It's the texture, like I said, like there's like a facade of fake scaffolding. It's like a architectural thing, and people just... I don't know. Look at me, Mom. Just go to the, there's a restaurant in the lobby level of that building that has the best macaroni and cheese, and you can get it with pulled pork on it. Just go have lunch. <laughs> Look, Ma, I'm into the Spider-Verse man. I'm the Spider-Verse man. Nobody ever gets that high up. They all think they're going to be like... Six stories, though. That is really impressive. Okay, how do you get six stories into this before going, wow? Did not think this one through. Yeah, maybe this was a bad idea. And it doesn't even look like he has any climbing equipment. No, he just started. This wire. Right. Dude, came... he went into this completely unprepared. Yeah, it came from Massachusetts and then just starts climbing a building in Manhattan. Like, d d we can't take you nowhere. What are you and like? That's like a three hour drive. Are you like a lemur? When presented with tall things, must you get to the. You know, I, I, Grady likes being tall. The cat's like, are you like that? Do you have to be. Peggy likes being tall. She has a little apartment up atop the closet in this very room so she can be the biggest cat. So d do you need to survey? Is that, is that, are you concerned of predators, sir? We can no, get I you just, a drone, I solve just, the problem. I just wanted to go viral. Yeah, well, now you've been arrested and charged, and you're, you're at, at the very least, you're going to have to pay money, and that's going to suck. And your mass hole ass might have to sit in jail with a bunch of Yankees fans, so good luck. <laughs> Speaking of going viral, holy. not only did our realm cross over into the regular news, the regular news became one of our stories. Like, fucking hell. New Yorker suspends Jeffrey Tubin for masturbating on Zoom call. Yeah. New Yorker suspended reporter Jeffrey Tubin for masturbating on a Zoom video chat between members of the New Yorker and WNYC radio last week. Two people are on the call, told Vice separately. The call was an election simulation featuring many of the New Yorker's biggest stars. Um, there were also a handful of other producers, both people who spoke on condition of an anonymity in order to speak freely, noted it was unclear how much each person saw, but both said they saw Jeffrey Tu they saw Tubin jerking off. The two stories described a juncture in the election simulation when there was a strategy session. The Democrats and Republicans went their break rooms for about 10 minutes. At this point, they said it seemed like Tubin was on a second call. The sources say that with the group's return from the break rooms, Tubin lowered the camera. The people on the call uh, said they could see Tubin touching his penis. Tubin then left the call. 
Moments later, he called back in, seemingly unaware of what his colleagues had been able to see. And the simulation continued. <laughs> How, how, how do you have a work call where everybody's like, all right, uh, Jeffrey was jerking it, but we're just going to power through, um, get to the end of this and then, uh, we'll have a uh, catering. Um, literally nobody is this excited about this election. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and like the, people were excited about Obama, the people electoral college. <laughs> Like, now we're all just trying to fucking survive. We're not excited. Now, now what's happened in the fallout from this is a great many of journalists, okay, journalists, are coming out and saying, well, I, I don't see why everybody's condemning him for this. I mean, it's a perfectly natural thing everybody does. And the reason why it's... it's, it's not at work. Not at work. You're a journalist. Do you not understand context? Yeah. Everybody jerks it. Everybody rubs one. Everybody spanks the monkey. Everybody double clicks the mouse. Everybody. Okay. That's perfectly natural. It's not perfectly natural to do it in proximity to your coworkers, even if it's a virtual proximity. Okay. Unless your job is specifically to. Right. Right. Masturbate in front of people. Cause that's a job. That is a job, but not like if you're, if you're a, cam performer that's your job yeah jeffrey tubin is a lawyer and legal analyst yeah the the op-ed is an entirely different kind of masturbation right right um now, he's also on leave from cnn yeah right now. you see what, what what's pissed at, what's kind of made us all go fucking ew is he didn't cover the didn't cover the laptop he didn't have the common decent i mean look if you're at work and you suddenly feel an irresistible need to choke the chicken. If you, I mean, if you have to, which you probably shouldn't, but get your ass up, leave the meeting, go to the bathroom, pick a stall. Go to somewhere your computer is not. Right. He could have just left the room, jerked it, come back and gone, what up my dudes? Instead. After we do this every week, I still... For like a full two minutes after I know the Skype call is over, I don't like scratch my nose or whatever, like anything that I don't want to be seen doing on camera. I don't get up if I'm not wearing proper pants. Like I I have quit Skype. I know the call's over. And yet still, I wait till you're playing a music video. <laughs> to be sure, to be 100% oh, sure. I will do anything. And I will tell you, here's having done this so long and doing a live video on the internet for so long, every single device that connects to the internet that transmits video or audio has a switch that powers it off. My camera has a switch. My uh, soundboard has a switch. My compressor has a switch. I can they physically shut them off. So even if somebody, for some amazing reason, hacks in and they can see my shit, or if I forget to. It does if I leave myself connected. Doesn't matter because all of these things are physically disconnected from the computer. That's how you do it if you're going to be doing some weird shit. I mean, I do weird shit, but not that. I do weird shit with soldering irons, but not that. Or just you know, <laughs> don't jerk off at work. And that's the thing, man. My God, that is just rude. No matter how you play, that is rude and inappropriate. That's right, Loki. And it's funny, like. Women don't seem to have a problem with that. Right. And everybody was all like, oh, it's just, you know, why, why you're giving him some? No, if someone else did that where I worked, that would be a big fucking deal. Yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're working at, you know, retail, I've done retail, I've done computer repair. If I was working at Gateway Computers, there's a blast from the past, which I did work there. And we got, we have a, a weekly meeting, staff meeting, and, and one of the dudes just like, hang on, hang on. Just whipped it out. Just, 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 just pounding it. Um, yeah, uh, no, that's not cool. Stop defending this. He's in trouble. He rightfully so. Why yeah. would you? The, the, fuck. I mean, I don't he know if he should be. Appropriate thing. I don't know if he should be fired for this. Maybe that's debatable. But yeah, we're definitely going to call this inappropriate, and something needs to be done about this. You don't just do this shit. What are you, a fucking beast? 
Come on. Ah, now, sadly, we have another crossover into the really real world. Um, all right. You may have heard of what happened a little while back. David Perdue, senator from Georgia, allegedly, um, came out and he was doing one of those fucking rallies. It was during a Trump campaign rally and pretended not to know how to say uh, Kamala Harris's name. Because that's so original. Kamala, Mala, 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 Mala. That's that. Um, and obviously that was in terrible fucking taste and yeah. just smidge racist a little bit. Yeah, it's fucking, racist. but sometimes the people on our side, folks, hearts in the right place, I guess, but you're kind of fucking idiots. Um, Purdue chicken falls prey to backlash over Senator's racist mocking of Harris's name. The Twitter account of Purdue chicken, the Maryland based poultry giant that is unaffiliated with the Georgia Senator. Nothing to do with him. Spent the weekend and even Monday morning responding to angry comments by reminding people they're just a chicken company. Um, Twitter account for Purdue Chicken spent the weekend responding to users who called for a boycott of the poultry brand over the Georgia Senators Harris to otherize uh, of Georgia Senators Senators efforts to otherize Harris. That's a wild sentence there. By assuring them the brand had no affiliation with the lawmaker. You guys know people can have the same name, right? <sighs> I, <sighs> like, my last name's not terribly common, but other people have it. Like, I, I just, I, I just, oh, it's not just, look, they, 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 this dude, um, the, this tweet, it's been a busy morning, Dave Brown on the Twitter, it's been a busy morning for the good people at Purdue Chicken. Wow. Look at all, just replying to all those tweets we're we're not him we're not that also, we're not the dude google is free it is google is free every single one of us has these magic little supercomputers that we carry in our pockets mine has the winchesters on it right now and it has google and that's free and it contains all of human knowledge you could just be like is Play Purdue, per Purdue chicken? No! And go on with your day and not be an idiot. But that... Uh, uh, that's work. I like work. And, you know, shout, shout out for all... Out that Sarah Huckabee Sanders had nothing to do with your boy Bernie. He, he, this, this feeds into a pet peeve of mine that I've mentioned quite often. Um... Why is Google a, a, like a, a work skill? The ability to Google, you can put that shit on a resume, given how difficult it is for people to do, apparently. Because my I'll, best I'll, Twitter display name is currently Dan. My name, my middle name is not Google. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, all all this I, I post about stuff online and people wander in and they're like, what What is this thing? What is that thing? What, what are you talking about? It. I don't get it. Okay. Like, like you're talking to me on the same device Right. That gives you access to the accumulated knowledge of the entire fucking species. Accumulated knowledge of the entire species, me. Accumulated knowledge of the entire species, me. Use that one! Like, my fucking God. Ugh. This is, I can even see, you know, we get, we're going to get to like Star Trek times where you could just ask the computer something out of, you should like, computer, you know, what time is this? And people will still come up to you. Yeah, they still won't do it. They still won't fucking do it. They'll be like, you there. Explain that thing you said to me. No. Uh, so yeah, it, guys, you're, you're making us look like fucking imbeciles. Get your shit together, okay? I understand. Is it spelled the same way? Yeah, it's spelled the same way. Okay. 
I I appreciate I appreciate the 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 uh, the outrage. You know, rightfully so. You should be pissed the at the guy, dude. That guy is a dick. But Jesus Christ, you look like a fucking bunch of fucking morons. Get it together. Get your get the get it the fuck together. Okay. Stupid is stupid. I don't care what side of the aisle you're on. Stupid There's some is other poor stupid. guy on Twitter who has a really similar name to some politician that everybody hates. I forget which one. Yeah, and he had, it's, it's like his username is I'm I'm not that I'm not him. Right, and just like every now and then, he's just like, well, gonna be another one of those days. <laughs> that guy did a thing, and everyone's gonna yell at me about it. Um. So next up, um, this one is. This, this, wow. We've had people repeatedly go on the internet, go on social media, brag about their crimes, and what happens? They get arrested. This one is up in the fucking ante. I think this is new. Dude just didn't, didn't just post about his crimes. Motherfucker made a music video. Rapper who boasted about unemployment fraud scheme arrested. Fontrell, Anti uh, on Fontrell Antonio Baines. I can talk tonight. My, my fucking mouth. Uh, was arrested on three felony counts of access device fraud, aggravated identity theft, and interstate transportation of stolen property. Baines faces up to 22 years in federal prison. Uh, a federal prosecutors say Baines and his co-conspirators fraudulently obtained at least 92 debit cards preloaded with more than $1.2 million. The unemployment debit cards are issued in the names of third parties, including identity theft victims. Uh, they said the cards were sent to addresses to which Baines had access in Beverly Hills and Koreatown neighborhood. Schemers allegedly accessed more than $704,000 of that money through cash withdrawals. Baines goes by the stage name Nuke Brizzle, uh, Nuke Bizzle, sorry, Nuke Bizzle. There you go. And post on Instagram. I sound like such a white man. I am. I, I sound so white. <laughs> Nuke Bizzle. Bang goes by this. <laughs> I, I, I'm just, I, I'm Caucasian and I apologize. And post on Instagram under the accounts Nuke Bizzle 1 and Nuke Bizzle 23. The rapper bragged extensively about his ability to defraud California's Employment Development Department. Baines also posted a music video on YouTube, which has amassed more than 400,000 views, in which he boasts about, quote, getting re rich off the EDD. Uh, unemployment so sweet, Baines says in the video. We had 1.5 land this week. A second uh, braggadocious rapper says, you gotta sell cocaine, I can just file a claim. Motherfucker! Dude. Like, it sounds like you had a good scam going until you literally <laughs> turned on yourself. Imagine getting this scam going, stealing fucking money from the government, taking that money, making a music video about how you're stealing money from the government. You could have just not said that. What is the fucking, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Come on. Come, come the fuck on. Like, shit's so fucked right now, it might have taken them forever to catch you. Uh, Except you, you, uh, you had a brag. You jumped to the front of the line. God, good, good, you forget. They went like, to you pulled it off. You succeeded. You pulled it off. Yeah, except they were going to, if people had not gone, well, let's see what's going to this dude's address. Say, wait a minute, this address is connected to that dude and all these checks. Oh. <sighs> 1.2 Fuck you. Fuck you, especially in 2020. I know. Fuck you sideways. This, this is, fuck you. But fuck you. You're a bad person and you should feel bad. And you're a bad, stupid person. Yes. It's fucking imbecile. As Spider-Man would say, you deserve that. You're a criminal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Um, and oh. you're also fucking dumb. Let's, let's head to Memphis, Tennessee for Jesus Christ. Um, back in our regular old wheelhouse on this one. Um, it's not as comforting as you think. Police our say it's not comforting. No, it isn't. Police <laughs> say man fired shots into Memphis KFC because his order was wrong. Police say an angry customer at a KFC restaurant put innocent lives in danger because there was an issue issue with his order. Uh, investigators say the customer went through the drive through on KSC uh, and then went back to the restaurant minutes later because his order was wrong. Investigators say the man got out of his semi-truck. So he's a fucking trucker. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with truckers, but, you know, this is not just some random dude. The dude's, like, drive, riding around in his office, essentially. Um, he was driving and walked up to the, the drive through window demanding a refund. Surveillance video shows an employee getting the man, giving the man his money back. He got the refund. They gave him his money back. But, according to police, the customer was still upset and fired shots into the restaurant while driving away. Investigators are still looking so the customer. So you got what you wanted. Yeah. They, and they, you still decided to, that maybe I just need to kill all these people. Yeah. I mean, he, he didn't hit anybody. Thank fucking God. The bullet shattered a side window and penetrated several walls. I, I, I We talked about this a couple times. It's not like the movies. You can't just duck behind a wall and you're safe. Most modern construction, a lot of big, empty spaces covered by drywall. And you can go through drywall like nothing. So you're essentially firing a fucking bullet through paper. <sighs> Because they gave you fucking original instead of extra crispy. Motherfucker. I mean, and I, I, the point, the part of me has pissed me off about being a trucker. This dude is out driving. He was at work, he technically. Was at, technically, he was at fucking work. And fucking doing this. Investigators are still looking for the customer. They posted pictures of him and the semi-truck he was driving on social media. In Hingston, oh, bless him. Um, Hingston hopes he gets caught and gets some help. That. Okay, I you're more generous than I, sir. I hope he gets some help getting rid of that gun. I you got what you wanted. They gave you your you got the money. They gave you, you your won. money. Back. You fucking you got chicken and you got your money. You got free chicken. You didn't have to pay for it. If it didn't matter if you didn't like it, you didn't have to pay for it. They gave you your money. Why? You're a winner! You, Fucking hell! You got what you wanted. <clears throat> and you still just had to try and murder the people right. who and were the, working at a KFC. That is... Pandemic. Firing randomly with intent is still a fucking attempted... It's, it, it, that should be at least yeah. attempted murder. At least attempted manslaughter. What? You don't know where those bullets are going. Right. Now, finally this week... I gotta say, you know, after all the other stuff, this, this, I hate it, but this feels like coming home. And I hate it. <laughs> I hate it, but this feels like coming home. <laughs> I, this is a, one of the most wonderful headlines we've had. It really is. Naked teeth covered in ranch dressing crashes at Kansas gas station. Okay. <laughs> A teenage boy who was naked and covered in ranch dressing crashed a vehicle at a Kansas gas station early Saturday morning. <laughs> the disturbance was reported at 911 uh, to 911 at around 3:30 a.m. A 17-year-old male was naked and under the influence of a substance. Uh, he covered himself in ranch dressing, damaged property inside a business ran outside, jumped into a running vehicle, and then crashed into a nearby pillar. <laughs> Where do you get that much ranch dressing? <laughs> he went into the store and got it and just pulled it off the shelf and covered himself. Oh, really? Yeah, he went in there. He dumped ranch dressing. <laughs> Dark Angel of Taku. Dressing is not actual clothing. No. 
Do you know what I just found out recently? The rest of the world doesn't know what the fuck ranch dressing is. They don't. They don't have it. And they ask, and someone asked me, and I was like, I don't know what ranch dressing is. It's buttermilk and spices. I don't know how to describe the flavor to you. Yeah. We put it on everything, and I'm not sure why. You know, I you know what I think happened. Everything. You know what I think happened. Some dude working in the convenience store went. You know what? I wish there was a naked teenager here right now. Not what I meant. Fucking monkey's paw. Damn it! <laughs> Why would anybody ever wish for that? Because that's like yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. Took you a minute. There you go. You got there. You got there in the end. It's gross, but you got there. Um, <laughs> fucking this, this is some fruit and ranch dressing. Like understand part of why these stories just fascinate me is in this life, in this existence, you could just be hanging out of your work, shopping in a store. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, there's a naked boy covered in ranch dressing, crashing a car that just came into your life unbidden it has no connection to you it doesn't have anything to do with the course of your existence the universe just chose you just this confluence of events one day boom I, this could happen to anyone that, that's 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 life that is you wake up every day you go out in your world sometimes great things happen to you sometimes bad things happen to you sometimes shit just happens Weird, senseless, bizarre crap. Sometimes God botches his his <laughs> roll. God rolled a one. Oh fuck. And you get ranch dressing teenager. Ranch dressing. I just Monkey Shine says this feels like a Family Guy cutaway gag that became reality, doesn't it? Like what was? The... And I always want to know, like, how did we get here? A substance. What, but like, what was the thought, pro even, even when you're fucked up, there's a thought process. Meh. It's a ridiculous, insane thought process, but there is one. And that's what I want to know. I want to interview these people and just be like, walk me through it. Just walk me through the decision-making process where you came to be naked at the come and go, uh. pouring ranch dressing on yourself. Butternutter says, my God, how did I get here? That's the book I want to write. I just want to write a series of essays wherein I interview these people and find out how we got here. You want to go look up these folks from the old stories, like go back to the archives and like, <laughs> what the fuck happened, dude? Just tell me, what, <clears throat> why ranch? Why not Thousand Island? <laughs> I just... It's this, I mean, yeah, that's the first thing we learned this week is that in this life, shit gonna happen. It, yeah. You know, all these people who who feel like, you know, that there's a point to things and order the universe. And, no! <laughs> shit just happens! Any day could be your turn to experience a glitch in the Matrix. Shit just fucking happens, man! It's a vast and chaotic universe. And, and here's the funny thing. If this happened in a in like a TV show, if you know we're going along and suddenly there's a scene where a naked boy crashes a car while covered in ranch dressing, and then we move on to the next one, people would be like, What the fuck was that? Come back and make sense of that. That's unrealistic. No, it's not. That's fine. That that is exactly fucking realistic. What's that what's that little meme that goes around every now and then? Like always tell people you love them because life is short and unpredictable but also shouted at them in German because life is random and scary. <laughs> uh, we've learned yet a fucking gun. Gun? Not a remote control for life. I I I should I should make bumpers. I should make fucking bumper stickers. Don't even need to be t-shirts. We just make bumper stickers. No one wants to see your dick. Gun is not a remote control for life. I Holy shit, I'm actually going to do this. I think I'm actually going to fucking do this, because someone would buy these. Mugs? They go way past what we do. Because they're just truths. Yeah. True. I'm I sure 
universal truths. I'm going to fucking look into Those are actually, those are like the five commandments that were on that third tablet that Moses dropped. What? Um, that's what was on it. We've learned if you're doing a crime, don't tell everyone, everyone, that you did a crime. Because it's crime. It, the it, cops aren't going to be like, well, you know, he's just expressing himself now. You know, this song's got a pretty fat beat. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm digging this one. Cool. No, that's not how that works. <clears throat> We've learned you can have your heart in the right place and your head straight up your ass. Also learn to fucking Google. And we've learned that even the our trusted, vaunted, fourth estate news people need a lesson in context now and again. Just because you like a guy. I'm sorry. Doesn't mean you doesn't fuck up. Okay. Little, little pat in your head, little bless your heart, but y'all need to understand this was not cool. If this happened to any of us, we wouldn't have a job anymore. They wouldn't even be like, a... I have liked people who have fucked up. And I feel real bad about the consequences, but I'm like, well, you fucked up. Like, you did the thing. Yeah, and I you like you. Thing. You're a good dude, but you shouldn't have done that thing. Yeah. You come out, you apologize, you make amends as best as possible, you live with the consequences. That's cool. I can I can deal with what well, depends on the thing, but, you know... There are, there's a line. There's some things it's like, whoop, nope, sorry. But, uh, yeah. I just will never understand how men have such trouble keeping their dick in their pants. Right? I have like, one and I don't cool, understand. Does it try to escape? No, it doesn't. Are you wrestling with it all day? No. Because it seems like it's a problem. Although there is a song about it. You, you ever heard uh, um, Say It Ain't So, Weezer? Yeah. Wrestle with Jimmy? Is that what that means? That's what that means. Didn't know that, did you? Yeah. No? Talking about his dick. Yep. <laughs> well, like, <laughs> like, it seems like it's a problem because y'all have a problem with that. I'm not disputing it. I'm seriously I've not. I've never had my vulva just accidentally escape. Nope. It's like. While I was doing this. <sighs> Monkey shines. Your dick will not explode if you do not unload. <laughs> If the glove don't fit. Oh, that takes me back. You've never heard Say It Ain't So? Well, I guess I know what's coming up later. Um, yeah. I thought Jimmy was his kid. Nope. Yeah, I thought Jimmy was like the other kid. Nope. Nope. That's, that's, uh, nope. Listen to the lyrics. This thing. Yeah. And finally, we've learned, um, you know, that whole old that old saying, uh, "Why why climb it because it's there?" That doesn't apply to Manhattan. No, that's that doesn't apply to buildings that yeah. you don't own. <laughs> Even if you do own, come on. And you are not Spider Man. No. If someone takes pictures of you and and hands them to J. Jonah Jameson, he's not going to be happy. Because He's you're not, not going to be amused at all. Yes. You're going to be like, this asshole. Right. Uh, King Kong already did it. That's true. So you're not only are you stupid, you're unoriginal. Yeah. And that's the thing that New York Times building, like I said, like it happens every few years. Like you're not even the first person to think of it. Man, I, I want now I, I want that fucking mac and cheese, dude. It's so good. Don't don't tempt me. I'm gonna fucking diet right now, man. It's killing me. What well, you're also not in Manhattan. No, but damn. <laughs> Sorry. Then I want I don't want fucking mac and cheese with pulled pork. That sounds so good. It's really good. Damn. All right. You can get a top to chili, <clears throat> pulled pork. Stop it! Pork. Stop it! Damn you! Demon woman! Demon woman! Stop it! <laughs> 